They can still hear us though, right? Alright, so from what I saw on the loading screen, I mean, ELO is not indicative of skill, but if borders are anything to go by, yeah, we'll this is a this is a really rough matchup. One team has four golds and a platinum, and the other team has nothing, really. So this could be yeah, that's really the, quick. It looks like it's a big mismatch, but we'll see if they can pull together some teamwork to help to offset that. Yeah, the crowd's definitely on the side of Kamakos. Well, Everybody loves an underdog. Unfortunately, it's not live, so the crowd can't really play a big factor in this. <laughs> Good luck getting wireless on that when the door's closed. But I think what's important here is we're seeing a lot of nice skins. Why, yes, yes, we are. We have two legendaries on the Elite Redemption side. Mm hmm. Once you get the chat open, just ask if they can see it. And we have... I just need to know if they right. can oh, see oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Game's Sunday. underway. Both teams are out of their in. base. And in. All teams have bought and they're all moving, so... Both sides look like they're heading towards top jungle. We could see them run into each other here. Oh, we could see Zin getting caught out if he's not careful. So, the blue team is directly going into the jungle and putting down an early ward. Whereas the purple team looks like they're going to hide in that bush and go for an actual invade. Well, if it's level 1 invades, you're going to have to give it to the team with Shen. Because Shen also has Twisted Fate and Leona stuns backing him up. So if anybody gets taunted, prepare to see a lot of flashes blown to get that first blood. at home. No movement yet. They will probably move in at about 125, 130. Okay, we see Ezreal heading there off towards go. bottom lane already. Shad. Uh oh. Oh, and he gets oh, caught. Shad. Flash. So blown, but someone blew ignite as well. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, what is Garen doing? So Zin has been chased out of his jungle. He will not get his blue ball. Oh, an exhaust blown oh, for no reason. And pause. we have a pause. So let's see if uh, they put up a reason in all chat because that is required when you pause. Yeah. Uh, Shen D seed. Okay, so it looks like both both sides are okay with this. Oh, that is a big problem because if Shen was there for that level one, Zin was guaranteed dead. <coughs> yeah, I mean so Kamaka's kind of got out of that. Really, really, that that was really mild what happened to them compared to what could have happened. And yeah, that could have been first blood, maybe even two kills because Garen went in looking into that bush for no reason. Okay. It's working, test, test. Check. Looks like it's working fine. All right, well, since we have this pause until he's connected, uh, Zin without his blue, Zin can do without his blue because he has relatively low mana cost. He does not spam his spells in the jungle. So he will probably be looking to back to heal up. He'll probably go Wraith's Red. There's a uh, probably no chance of him taking the I enemy blue in retaliation. Okay. Okay, I, I guess what's, what's pretty big there is there were a lot of summoners blown on that. In particular, Twisted Fate is empty. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, Thresh, Thresh is empty no as heal, well, no but he, did, he doesn't have an escape to begin with. But but Garen's also, Garen's also empty. So you're, you're going to be looking to see uh, both junglers trying to go after those respective lanes. Uh, Thresh Early. did not need to lose exhaust in that exchange though. Garen was already getting out because he used ghost, so that was uh no communication right there from the looks of it. Well there 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 was very it looks like they they had a big communication breakdown there. 
Because when the invade happened, it looked like the team had no idea what they were doing, whether they were running or fighting. Because everybody or what was they were running, doing. but Garen wanted in. Okay. So we'll see what happens because Elite Redemption only lost a Flash and Ignite off of Twisted Fate. So Zin will probably be looking to gank that lane once he gets his red. Yeah, it's like I was saying. Zen is gonna pay Twisted Fate a visit and you know Nocturne's wanna go is gonna wanna go after Garen. Now that Garen no. can't run. Nocturne will wanna go after Garen. Um he will it will be hard to go after bottom lane, but you know he's always gonna be eyeing that Thresh who has no escape. Yeah, like he's probably gonna have to wait until six. Because between the early wars, his summoners will come back up before he can really get in there. The other deadly thing about the Elite Redemption team is that Shen took teleport as well, so aside from being careful when Shen is 6, they also have to watch out for anything pre-6 that involves his teleport, ganking the Thresh and Ezreal should they ever push up against Leona Misfortune. So from the looks of it, Elite Redemption is going to take... Um, well, Frosty Pubes is asking if they can have their blue. I think, uh, I think Nocturne is going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this all chat. Please. <laughs> Frosty's Pubes. He did, he did say please, but, uh, I don't think Elite Redemption are going to be nice about it. A summoner has reconnected. Alright, so Shen has reconnected. We'll see if the game will be resumed. All right, so well, you should that's probably Ryan, ask so. people to stop messaging you during the game. Shen is showing his frustration at his computer. All right, so we're just waiting for somebody on Elite Redemption to type slash resume, and we'll get this game going underway. <coughs> Oh, All right, here, we, here go. we go. Resuming play. Nocturne is still exhausted. Alright, so they're gonna take the wolves. They're also gonna take the blue misfortune and Leona have not recalled, so. They might fall behind in bottom lane, seeing as Ezreal and Thresh are almost there. That's yeah, pretty surprising. Maybe it, it maybe their bottom lane is just gonna go top. No, nope, Shen nope, is headed to calling. So Shen is headed to I top. I feel like that, that would have been the smart play there because Shen does have teleport. He could have just popped his way down to bottom. Yeah, and Shen can also farm under the tower pretty handily. And a 2v1 matchup is not what Garen wants to see. So it would have been an advantage all around for them. Yeah. Alright, so here you go. Zin is starting at Golems. Does not matter where he starts. But he's a smite on the golem. Mm, that's so odd. he's probably looking to just take his small camps. He's, prob he's probably not going to take his red because if he tries, he's going to take a lot of damage for free. Yeah, maybe he's going to clear some small camps and save the red for when he's ready to start ganking. Yep, so he's taking rates. I mean, that's a gamble, but if it works, it, it, it'll probably pay off for him. Yeah, because... Uh, Nocturne has no idea that Zin uses Smite, so he probably won't be looking to invade the red buff anytime soon. He's probably assuming that Zin took it. But it's interesting, Nocturne is leaving his blue up. So he's probably looking to save it for when the blue he just took is about to run out. Oh, having a little man fight up there when Shen has the creep wave and Garen doesn't. No skirmishes mid, they're just doing their thing, farming it up. And bot lane getting pushed around a little bit with that experience disadvantage. Alright, so let's talk about bot lane. Misfortune Leona versus Thresh Ezreal. Who, who wins or who has a slight advantage? I feel like, I feel like for that, the, the it's kind of neutral, but especially since Thresh and Ezreal are ahead in experience, 
They 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 definitely are are the ones who who have to lose the lane basically because they 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 got some free CS before their lane opponent showed up and they're they're ahead in experience definitely. Well, looking at the pacing in the lane, it looks like the CS is still dead even even though they got to lane faster. So better mechanics being shown by Misfortune. Yeah. Misfortune also started Boots 4 pots, whereas Ezreal started Longsword 3 pots. Oh, Zin, Zin so, not taking his red. It's kind of weird. So that's very interesting. Ezreal having weaker CS even though he has a 10 damage advantage. I'm thinking right now they're playing kind of scared after seeing that loading screen. It's hard not to be a little intimidated. Oh, they can't see the borders though, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Alright, so Rai's just farming it up. TF also farming it up. I figured TF would want to exploit his advantage. You know, push up on Rise and hit 6 first and go roam. Ooh, Zin Zhao showed gank up by Zin. Leona did have to flash out of that gang, so it's... Good on Zin, putting some pressure on that bot lane. Whereas Nocturne still hasn't done anything yet, which leads me to believe he's just going to farm until 6 and then go for a gank. Although it definitely looks like Nocturne noticed that Zin Zhao was not only low, but he didn't have red. Yep, so now he's going to investigate and he'll find himself a nice glittery prize of a fresh red buff. That's a costly mistake by Zin Zhao. Yeah, his gamble really did not pay off. Really should have took his red first. If I were Nocturne right now, I would take his wraiths and then just sit in the wraith bush for a little bit. Just yeah, to see if Zin Zhao pops his head in there. So he just warded it and he took three of the wraiths and he's leaving. So he's not looking to murder Zin Zhao in his own jungle. Yeah, it looks like his strategy is just... He's just relying on... His and his team's superior mechanics. It looks like they're just going to try and farm up a lead. Ooh, that... So even though there has been no in. first blood... Oh. Ooh, wasn't able to get to him. It's a slight miscommunication right there. It's also miscommunication, but... It's a good try nonetheless, but... Even without first blood, no towers, no dragons, there's a huge gold disparity of 1.7k. Yep. So the much better mechanics just showing what a difference it makes, especially in the Nocturne gold. Becomes Nocturne. Lane he gang. is not six yet, and the enemy team does not know that he's there. So Leona might be looking to bait something because they know she has no flash. Oh, oh. this hey, one is caught. Oh, TF is six, so it's a dive. All right, so there's first blood. It's very good coordination, but Leona went down first. And here comes Zin. Zin has to back off. He's Zin cannot go four. that way. Oh, Zin is Zin is definitely dead. They're going to dive. Oh, this. Thresh pulled the wrong person. It's okay. They got the kill anyway. So what should have been a... Hey, well, Thresh still in trouble down there. Oh, is Swiss of Fate leaving now? Yes, he is. Okay. What well, seems it should have been a... in the ultimate. Two for one. Or one for zero turned into a two for two. The gold lead just keeps growing in favor of Elite Redemption. Wow, and top lane, Garen was forced back. So Shen pushing the wave into the tower and backing himself so he does not fall behind in items. Yeah, I mean, the real story here is the difference in CS, especially in top lane. I'm not sure what was going on up there, but Garen has virtually no CS. Top, top jungle mid. Yeah, and they know that blue is up, and here they come. Oh, that's bad. Twisted Fate's flash is not up, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get a kill rate. Oh, Nocturne just took it, but that's okay. His blue should be up. 
I did not see when it's taking, but it should be up in about two minutes. Looking to donate that to Twisted Fate. Yeah, and Zen's troubles continuing. Alright, so Zen is just way behind. He's down 16, 17 CS. One kill, one assist. So that's a really large gold difference when you look at the items. We still oh, got putting on the hurt right there. That did quite a bit. Ooh. So yeah, Nocturne with a huge advantage. He's got that machete turned into a Madrid's already. He's also got Giant's Belt and Boots, whereas Zin only has a Vamp Scepter and the machete. Large difference in items. He's looking for a gank at top, but Garen is just too scared of Shen. Uh oh, here we go. Nocturne ultimate? No, he looks like he's just gonna walk through the river and he'll be spotted by a ward. Oh, and Ping's going down near bottom. There's a purple Ping, so Xin Zhao obviously spotted out by something, or they had a feeling that he is there. Yeah, Zin really just needs to try to farm up and get back into this game. What I'd like to see Xin Zhao do is actually put some aggression on mid. Because he should know that Twisted Fate's flash is still down. Rise, hopefully Rise has told him that Twisted Fate did not buy any wards. And Xin Zhao, and I mean Twisted Fate has no escape on his own. Alright, here we oh, go. Zin, Zin Zhao gone. getting caught out. Is his team responding? Not really. That is probably a death. Misfortune is not ultimate. So that looked like a slight miscommunication right there. Oh, nice ultimates. The Twisted goal. Fate. So that's a three for one. But too low to do. Dragon rises on his way down. He's probably looking to pick up Twisted Fate. And he's not gonna. Yep. Lost track of him. He did not see where Twisted Fate went, so Twisted Fate will get out of there for free. And the gold gap widens from about 2k to over 4k. So that's a really big deficit at less than 12 minutes into the game. So Twisted Fate should be backing and see what he buys with his newfound gold. I mean, in those ganks on bottom, Thresh really needs to use his pull as a, as the one and a half second stun that it is. He's really not maximizing his kit to protect his team, so his team is paying for it. Well, Nocturne holding mid because Twisted Fate went back, so he's going to get himself an even bigger lead in CS and experience. There's a small skirmish going on between Shen and Garen. If Garen's not careful, he's going to die. That Garen taking huge damage from that. Shen, even with his slight nerfs, still an excellent duelist once he gets going. Oh, that's a miscommunication right there. Garen did not tell Zin that there was a pink ward put down in the river. Twisted Fate pushing up. He's probably going to go get his blue now. Oh, no, he's backing. I thought Leona was walking up towards the blue to help him get it. So bot lane is pushing up. I mean, what can Kamakas do to bring it back? The Xin Zhao needs to put some pressure somewhere. He just needs to have his presence known in mid. I would say just mid and bottom. Bottom would be really hard, but mid should be the target for him. I don't know, at this point... Garen is basically a non-factor. Uh oh. A good escape by Ezreal. But yeah, Garen... Uh, I can't see his actual money, but he's gotta be so far behind. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, Shen has two more than two and a half times the CS. The goal difference is huge. It's 1400. Yeah. He is basically behind half a major item. And that, that, that's really big considering Garen's gold is only 2.4k. Well, it's big considering Garen is an early is an early game champion. Shen needs to 
to get rolling a little bit before he can start to have his lane dominance. So this is not looking good. Garen is a non-factor. Shen is going to be a huge factor in the mid game because of his gold lead. Yeah, Garen trying to do stuff, but he's so far behind he just can't. And Shen still has not alt or teleport ganked. Looks like. Makas knows he's there, but there's... They are in no position to do anything about it. Oh, no, they're, they're three-manning him. They're three-manning. Nocturne does have flash. MF picks up a nice kill there. MF picks up a kill. Shen ulting. I don't like that ult by Twisted Fate. Well, Shen's there, and they know it. They see Shen. Yep, they see Shen. Shen is going to taunt Ten. over the wall. That's smart of Rise to leave. That was a bit. Oh. That was a. Uh, that was trying too hard to kill Twisted Fate right there. Oh. oh. I, I don't know. If that was spin. It didn't matter. The spin would have stopped hitting him already. They really needed to communicate a little more on that. If Garen was gonna go in on that, they should have gave him more help. Yep, again, big miscommunication. Oh. Garen Ezreal wants. Israel not blinking that, and down Ooh. he goes. Yeah, I mean. Garen wanting in all the time, the rest of his team not wanting in, so conflict of interest there. So we've gone from a about 4.5k gold lead to 6.7k and it's just going to keep getting bigger. Yeah, this game quickly getting out of control. This is considering that no towers and no dragons have been picked up yet. So you just might see Elite Redemption not even go for dragons and they'll just keep ganking and pushing down towers instead. Yeah, there's a ping from Kamaka's on dragon. Probably ch they want to know if it's still there. Ping on dragon, see if it's still there. The lantern toss confirming that. Pink ward going down on dragon despite it obviously not being warded. That's a strange choice, but... Oh, that... That's uh, one step in their road to a comeback. Kamakas needs to find a way to take the dragon. Nocturne going in for some more counter jungling, but he'll be spotted by a ward in the river. See, no pings going down, so... Ryze might not have noticed that he even slipped past the ward. So that would be a free free rates for Nocturne. Bomb this is probably going to be a down. dive. Yep. Oh, and a Tough. miss. That's that's huge. That, that is that most definitely a dead dash. Oh, the from Nocturne real. from in the jungle, and he fears the wrong person. There is miscommunication uh -oh, there. Misfortune. And Thresh flings Nocturne into Ezreal, so he puts up the kill. Wow, misplace all around. Okay, but at least Zen was able to pick up. That was uh. Wasn't a big misplay, but it was still a misplay. What should have been a 2 for 0 oh became a 2 oh, for 1. Oh, nice ultimate. My Rise chasing the wrong person. Oh, it should have been a 2 for 2. Rise still chasing. Again, there's no communication on yeah, Kamakas. And he lets Leona walk away for free. That was a free kill. That was a free kill on Leona and Rise just... Yeah, that was an excellent play by Xin Zhao. Not only, not only thrusting Leona out of position, but surviving as well. So good play by Xin Zhao, just wasted by Ryze. So this game, I don't want to, I don't want to curse it, but it's looking all but over right now with the way the teamwork is going. Yeah, they they really need to up their level of teamwork if they're going to be able to keep up with uh, Elite Redemption. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with nerves. I mean. I've never seen them play before, so I wouldn't know how good their teamwork actually is. But Elite Redemption taking a dragon off of the absence of bottom lane. Garen really needs to focus a little more on CS. Garen way behind. He's going to start falling to the three times CS soon. He's more than two and a half times CS behind, so he's got to pick up his farming. He's got to do something. 
Yeah, because his his overall gold is only about the same as his support, who's also struggling. We're so that's on, not good. We're coming on 19 minutes, 10 seconds to the game. CS is looking really good for Elite Redemption. And it's looking really poor for Kamakas right now. No one in triple digit CS yet. Not even the solo lanes. Alright, so Twisted Fate doing his part, counter jungling the Zin. Ooh, he easily could have been caught right there, and he might be caught, but Leona's here. Oh, that Did Zin just disappear. Alright, so Zin oh. Zhao's gone, Rise flashed, and now he knows that's a big mistake because he is dead. Not sure why he used his snare on Leona, but at that point it didn't really matter. Hmm, the tower count is not working because two towers are down, but it still says zero. Hmm, GG Riot. Yeah, so Ezreal finally breaking 100 CS. Oh. And Thresh pulling in Thresh Twisted no Fing them to kill him. Interesting choice. Thresh dying for no reason. Once he saw four people at the tower, he should have just let it go because he had no one coming to back him up. Even if all five, well, if all five were there, they could have defended it. But by himself, there was no chance. So Shen still has teleport and his ult, so he can just stay in that top lane all day and do whatever he wants. Because Garen has yet to show that he can do anything to outplay the Shen. Well, unfortunately, he's Garen. There's not a whole lot of yeah. outplaying you can do. I mean, there's not much he can do. He's fallen so far behind already, and there was no pressure top at all from either jungler. Aside from that level 1 invade. So the difference in items really showing Shen with his Phage, Sunfire Cape, and level 2 boots versus Garen's two pieces of Yomu's Ghostblade and Ninja Tabi. And they're looking for a tower dive. There's a TF ult. Good taunt. Good coordination. And that is a dead game. And he ulted for no reason, putting it on cooldown. And it was nerfed a while ago, so that cooldown is still really long. At this point, it just kind of feels like they should just surrender. And just take some time to regroup. Because this game is all but over. Yeah. The enemy team is getting close to doubling their gold. I mean, it's all but over. It's almost double their gold. Shen still has not ulted or teleported or flashed. So he can split push as much as he wants. Yeah, and I mean, Garen's crippled. Alright, so Misfortune getting caught. Or more like baiting the enemy team. So Ezreal what was a 3v1? Basically missing everyone. So it was a 3v1, now it became a 4v3. You get two kills out of it. Twisted Fate takes down a turret at top. And there's no one to stop him from taking down another turret, possibly the inhibitor. Bad ultimate. So Leona's tanking the tower. Rise goes down. Garen should not be going in. Garen and Xin Zhao wisely backing off. And Twisted Fate's still going to work in top lane. And Xin Zhao's going to stop him, but we saw what happened last time. He could just get melted right here. Ooh. Got taunted, but no follow-up. So it looks like he's just taunting him to... I have no idea what he's doing. He's distracting. Oh. <laughs> Garen ultimates him for the kill. <laughs> Alright, so Garen gets a kill right there. Oh. Uh, Nocturne going balls deep for Garen, but he will not get the kill because he got CC'd. So okay, indeed, so. he has been exposed. So there, the inhibitor... Yeah, there's some throws there, but... I think Twisted Fate probably could have sacked himself to the inhibitor there. I think they feel like they've given them enough gold for now. <laughs> no, that is true. Because, I mean, when, when they're grouped up and just together, they, they could easily take the inhibitors. 
Well, all of the inhibitors are open, so... Is all the Good wave clear by MF, because she's going to go back. Alright, so see what major items they pick up. Misfortune with 2,500 gold. So we'll probably be seeing a static shiv and a... Oh no, Phantom Dancer. One of the attack speed items, maybe a... Uh, oh, she's going for a chain vest, so that's a piece of Guardian Angel. I would have liked to have seen a Last Whisper, but it's probably not necessary seeing as the only armor item is for the Glacial Shroud and the Wriggles Lantern. Okay, and Elite Redemption is starting up Baron. They're starting up Baron and... Makas has no idea that they're doing this. They're and they, they can't possibly contest it regardless. So they'll four man while Twisted Fate pushes bottom. Leona will be crossing a ward in the jungle. So if Kamakas is paying attention, they'll know that Baron was taken. So now they'll see it, seeing as three people are top. This fortune's gonna push down mid. Twisted fate wandering around in bottom. That's a that's an excellent electrical item Nocturne has there. <laughs> oh, Leona kind of caught out here, but it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to capitalize. I'm not sure if you go to call it, call uh, getting caught. Looks like she's trying to bait them in. No, nah, they were just running. All right, so one inhibitor, two inhibitors. A lot of. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be the last fight. Garen chased Misfortune away, but Misfortune just hided him around. They're just yeah. melting Kamakas. That'll be a 3 0 in favor of Elite Redemption. And that's three inhibitors down, so this should be game. So, GG, we should be moving on to the next game in the next 10 15 minutes. Okay, guys, okay. <laughs> Xin Zhao ending the game with a double kill. Or you find yourself respawning at home.